Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. For years, it has been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapies one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellent Award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. 
At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm a personal injury lawyer. In fact, I am the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey, and we are happy to support KGS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent, like most of you are, and uh, if you ever involved in an accident, that be a auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Hi, I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions,
the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. For years, it has been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down 
build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using... Third down to give. Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over oh. a 1,000 yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked out! Dumping in wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes! The pin Great senior night ceremony here at Lenby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Kenzie oh, Edwards oh, wins it. Get to you last year, you get them at home. And we're all so pumped and happy to like. Head up the head tonight on more Sussex. Good evening and welcome to the Hive Wooden Gym here at Hanover Park High School in East Hanover, New Jersey for an NJAC Liberty Division clash between the Par Hills of Vikings and the Hanover Park Hornets. Zach Small and George by George White today. Before we get started, we'd just like to thank some of our sponsors for today's game, starting off with our friends at Online Computers. Hey, do you own a business? Are you frustrated with technology? Well, this is your sign to finally do something about it. Online Computers provides custom technology services tailored to your business and prioritizes your needs. Visit Online Computers com to get started with a free consultation. Also, like to thank our additional sponsors: the Paul Miller Auto Group, Lincoln Tech, Zeifman Orthodontics, and Smythe Volvo. And outside, it's a little bit warmer than it has been lately, as it's 34 degrees here in East Hanover, New Jersey. And the game time temperature is brought to you by ICS. Go to ICS HVAC for all of your comfort needs. As always, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. ICS HVAC dot as I bring in my friend George White. So George, first off, welcome to the broadcast. Second, thank you, thank uh, you pretty good me. first game for you. Not too shabby. Yeah, this is my first broadcast. So, you know, just looking, just excited to uh, watch some high school basketball and, you know, just keep up with these two pretty good teams. Um, both of them, very, very impressive coming into this game. Uh, Hanover Park is fourth in the Liberty Division, while Parsippany Hills is third. Um, Parsippany Hills looks to have played about two more games than them. But I expect this to be a very, very close game tonight. I think so, too. I mean, both these teams averaging around the same number of points per game. Par Hill's a little higher at 64.5, and, and Hanover Park at 62.2. And, and a good litmus test always is, you know, past meetings, right? The last time these two teams played, Par Hill's won by five thanks to a shutdown fourth quarter where they held Hanover Park to just eight points, and they scored 15 of your, their own. Hanover Park on the road actually had scored, or rather was leading at the half. So it, we know what to expect from these two teams in terms of scoring. Obviously with Par Hills, they can spread the ball around, but it's really all about Julio Tartis and Simeon Washington, although Washington was held to just five the last time he played. So, you know, maybe Coach Hartman's squad had some secret sauce against him. Yeah, uh, Simeon Washington and Julio Tatis definitely stars for this Par Hills team. Uh, they're both four-year varsity starters. Tatis leads the team uh, with scoring in t- uh, with 234 points on the season, while Washington's not far behind at 202. So these two are definitely looking to um, get things started early, but I feel like the offensive X factor for this team will be Bray and uh, Moore tonight, who comfortably leads the team in threes this season. So. I think Hanover Park should definitely look to emphasize on closeouts and rotations on the perimeter to prevent uh, him from getting hot tonight. Absolutely, he's got 25 of the team's 77 threes. That's nearly a third of them on the season. Also not too shabby with the 160 points, which ranks him third on the team. I think the last time they played, he was able to shoot the light side. He did have 10 points. Nick Vicko actually led the team with 20, and Anthony Reyes had 23 the last time these two teams played. And interestingly enough, when these two teams played at Par Hills, not 
their last meeting, but last year's meeting, it was Coach Hartman's 300th win. So certainly an opponent that these teams are very familiar with out here today, and it certainly should be a lot of fun as we're going to dive in just a little more to Hanover Park. I mean, obviously a very senior laden roster, their senior day coming up. You know, who do you think is going to be the X Factor for this squad? Because, again, this is a unit that likes to spread the ball around. Honestly, I think it's senior John Karpinski. He's been leading the team on pretty much both sides of the ball this season. Uh, he leads the team in threes, assists, blocks, and ties for first in steals with Anthony Reyes. So he's definitely been like their guy this season. And overall, this Hanover Park team, very, very fun uh, mentally sound. That plays hard on both ends of the ball. Um, they're a very, a very, very fast team that likes motion offense. Uh, they like to break down zone defenses and get out in transition. Um, and they're definitely a rebounding threat. Uh, they, they're, good at, they're very good at closing out on defensive possessions resulting in fast breaks and getting second chance opportunities offensively. So Joel, George, Michael Fer uh, Farrell, and John Karpinski are all guys looking to crash the glass tonight. And a lot of those guys are multi-sport athletes as well. Michael Farrell was a wide receiver and a punter. He's big out there too. It's his size that they're certainly going to need after losing Chris Smith last year. 6'5", right now playing at FTU, Madison, and having a really good season. As we're looking at the starters right here, we've got Anthony Reyes. Or, yes, Anthony Reyes will start. That means we'll usually see Alex off the bench. But honestly, I know they're twins and they have their own identity. But because of their skill sets now, they do have a few things that set them apart. But they're just so interchangeable, which is such a big value to Coach Hartman and his squad to have that kind of trust in two different point guards. Yeah, um, Anthony is definitely more the natural facilitator uh, on the floor. He's a little smaller than his brother, you can tell. Um, Alex is definitely more of a wing spacer. You know, he's great at knocking down the ball and everything. But another thing to mention about this Hanover Park team is that they are very, very hot coming into this game. They won seven of their last eight and come into this game on a four-game win streak. So we'll get into that right after the national anthem. the end of the National Anthem means the beginning of basketball here at Wooden Gym here at the Hive in Hanover Park, New Jersey. Once again, my name is Zach Small and joined by George White for an NJ our presentation of NJAC Liberty Basketball here on Garden State Sports. So a lot to look forward to. A bit of a revenge game here for Hanover Park. And as you mentioned before, they're red hot. Going up against a Vikings team that's kind of stumbled a little bit. They lost their first game of the season, ripped off seven in a row, and now have only won three of their last seven. So it's going to be a little difficult to see what to expect from the team out there in white and blue. Yeah, I completely agree. And um, just another thing to mention that this Parsippany, Hills, this Parsippany Hills team is actually very, very experienced. They have a lot of um, seven of their ten roster spots are all seniors. So yeah. I feel like that with the proper adjustments and learning from their last matchup, they will make it very, very like a very tough game tonight. Could not agree more as we're getting all set and ready to go. Julio Tatis, who's also a football star, going to go to college for football as Coach Herzenberg is looking to reposition his number 13 of Joey Ticatelli. So Tatis is ready, Karpinski is ready. Ooh, uh, maybe a little too ready. Oh, a little too excited there. <laughs> Let's try that again. Happy. Are there, are there tip-off violations? I know in hockey you got the face-off violation. As it's up in the air, and it is won by Hanover Park as Reyes. We'll give it over to the 23 of Giordano. Giordano again leading the team in scoring. And also giving Reyes an opportunity to play off the ball. So he has a nice move, passing outside or Giekwe. From the baseline, outside, looking for three, and it hits off the rim as that one is missed outside by the 13 of Johnny Karpinski. 
Yeah, Orji Ekwe works in and lost control of the ball. It is going to go the Vikings' way. Good hands on the defense there. Oh, there we go. Now they changed their mind. You know, though, I kind of like that with the officials. Some people are like, oh, they, you know, decide. But I'm like, no, nah, just get the call right. And yeah, exactly. that's exactly what they did right there. Especially in high school, they don't have a lot of cameras to look at either. No, exactly. They, they don't have Seacockers, New Jersey, to look back to. No. Now we had a drive in, Reyes off the glass and pulled down by the Vikings. Here's Simeon Washington, who could really turn on the Jets, but Hanover Park does a great job on defense as it gets back to Tatis. Tatis. I feel like the I feel like the Hanover Park defense tonight is going to be very, very aggressive on this Park Hills team. I feel like they're very fundamentally sound on the perimeter, and they're very good at defensive communication. So I feel like they're not going to let a lot slide on offense tonight. Yeah, I don't think so either, especially, you know, since that game broke down in the fourth quarter for them. Maybe trying to conserve a little energy. They, they seem burned out at the end of that game against the Vikings. A minute in, no field goals, plenty of opportunities though as they pass across, beautiful interception, Washington high off the glass, and Tatis with the second effort, and nothing can be gotten to go. Now a long pass ahead, chance for Hanover Park, and they get on the board. Johnny Karpinski for the first two of the game. Well, it was a matter of time, right? I mean, they put enough off the glass. Somebody was bound to make one. Here's Chicatelli now. Chicatelli's got 152 points on the season, fourth on the team. High octane offense here, averaging around 64 points per game are these Vikings. It's also the outside Chicatelli. And immediately a timeout call by Coach Herzenberg. This might have been one of the earliest timeouts I've ever seen, especially with the score as low as it is. But, I mean, there's definitely something he's not liking about the way his team's playing out of the gate. Yeah, um, they look just a little bit sloppy to come out. Uh, turno uh, turnovers, bad passes. I think he just wants to calm his guys down and get into their offensive sets and really take their time to get a good look. I'm really surprised that Simeon Washington didn't score off that interception. I mean, he had read that the whole way, picked it up, ran in off the glass for him and Tatis to miss on the same procession. This this could also be a, a hey, guys, we need to wake up here, right? I know we beat this team already this season, but they're no pushover, even though they're below us in the division. And that's what I'm saying. This Hanover Park defense, they're going to force turnovers like that and bad mistakes. They're, they are very, very aggressive, especially on the perimeter. These teams very average uh, both around 10 steals a game. Mm -hmm. So... You know, ball hawks through and through, big time hustlers. So the Vikings will pick it up here with Braylon Moore. Get a guy that no stranger to shooting from beyond the arc, 160 points. As Chickatelli bounce past Simeon Washington. And Hanover Park with a clear size advantage as well, although they get it down low, and Washington, after a couple of bounces, gets his first one to go. Quick jump pass to the outside. I'm really liking the full court press that we're seeing here, although they seem to have found some sort of hole in it. Here's Orjekwe, thought about going up, little pass to the inside, and Michael Farrell's got his first two. The assist goes to the five of Orjekwe. And the size could make a difference. Hanover Park out rebounds the Vikings on a per game basis of about five, so that could be a big deal as Tatis cuts to the inside, pops it up in the air, and it's pulled right back down by Michael Farrell. Now Washington, what a, what a save. save, oh my goodness! And they get it over to Chickatelli. How about that, I mean, usually off a save, you know, you expect to you know, keep the ball in play, but not an immediate assist. Those are the types of plays that your coach loves to see, especially when you need to get stuff going for your offense. And now both teams are starting to throw the ball all over the court here. It's gonna take a moment for it to settle down. Looking to draw a little contact that time is Chickatelli. You can and tell both of these teams love to get out. To oh, get out for and sure. Run. And Giordano has got his first foul of the afternoon and it'll send Chickatelli to the line. 24-45 in the free throw department. And as a team, they shoot about 67.8% from the stripe, which is not too bad for a high school team. But the first free throw is going to miss from the number 13. Now back for Chickachelli. Gets one to go, he's the game's leading scorer. He's got three points out of the five right, for his squad. His Reyes outside, and again, they have an answer to this full court press, but they're gonna have to clean up these shots over along the glass. It's a really tough play this time by Johnny Karpinski. But the jump ball's gonna go Par Hill's direction. You can tell this press, you know, they're trying to trap the ball handler. It's definitely flustering this uh, Hanover Park team a little bit. 
And this first quarter brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Drive with confidence, drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown on Ridgedale Ave. Tatis inside, beautiful feed, and he's got it. Tatis has his first two. He's approaching a milestone, too, 1,000 points. He's still about 73 points away, but, you know, every two counts. As they get it again to him, loses control, goes back behind, and, yeah, unfortunately for Giordano, as he was trying to plead a losing case there, uh, it certainly did hit his body. Two seasoned coaches. Coach Herzenberg played over at Newton High School and won some hardware over there. So staying in the area to coach. Up top now, Nick Vicko, the sophomore. One of the only underclassmen on the roster. As again, they try to drill in off the finger roll and some more contact. Hanover Park with their second foul in the quarter. Our Hills for, uh, forcing a couple turnovers on the last uh, couple possessions. And not too bad as Orji Ekwe. That timeout really did settle them down, especially defensively. Oh, 100% as they get this one to go. Down from Braylon Moore, again, a sharpshooter. You mentioned earlier in this broadcast, he was a lockdown guy from three, and pretty much just the same thing at the line. He's now 17 for 22. As he gets them both, the only free throws of the game have come for Par Hills. And they're three for four. Go with the full court press, Orji Ekwe pops it over to the outside. They're forcing a lot of these long range passes. I was gonna say, I think some of the Hanover Park guys need to kind of come up the floor a little bit to help the ball hang out. As we get a splash down by Johnny Karpinski as he knocks it from three and helps cut down the deficit. That's a big dagger that they needed here. They were trailing by five, now down only by two. Tatis looking for the screen. And look at that first step acceleration from Tatis as he gets his second bucket to go. And that's what makes him so good on the football field as well. He's got that quick first step and he's very hard to catch as another turnover coming from Hanover Park. Orji Ekwe falls down, bounce pass, and they call him for the travel. Cannot play that basketball while you're down on your backside. This press is eating them alive. They don't know how to handle it. Yeah, and George, you're absolutely right. As Coach Harmon's here to call timeout, I don't know why they're not trying to work the ball up because, right, again, they're just throwing the ball all over the court, and you know, more often than not, that's not going to help you out, and it's resulted in a ton of turnovers here in this first quarter. I think the Vikings realize that if you let this Hanover Park team get set in their half-court offense, they're going to be a lot harder to stop rather than if you force them to make long uh, long passes and you know try to force turnovers. You don't even let the offense get set. So very good adjustment early on. Let's see how they respond. Yeah, I do like the aggressive defensive style from Coach Herzenberg, especially at the high school level too. You can find a lot of success against younger teams because they're not used to facing a full court press and you're used to being able to go over the timeline for free. So to take that away, even if it just kind of gets in their head a little bit, it certainly is helpful. And yeah, it's held them to just seven points so far and you know, a ton of turnovers here in the first four and a half minutes of play. So once again, Braylon Moore gonna facilitate from the baseline, a fellow number five, Orji Ekwe, pass inside Tatis and getting a hand in the air. That time was the 13 of Karpinski. They're gonna call him for a foul, but I kinda like that foul anyway from him. You don't want to give him anything for free and Tatis is setting on up 32 for 54 from the free throw line for him. That's 59%. Up and it was a little too far over to the right. As Tatis has four points today, but nothing from the strike. Tatis has some really cool coral-covered sneakers. Yeah, they're, they're they are pretty nice. They're actually. pretty fresh out here. I mean, everybody's got cool sneakers out here. Actually, you know what my favorite right now might be Michael Farrell's. But we'll go over the sneaker review a little bit later in this game. Now Reyes inside, off his hand, and the first foul that we've seen here today as Reyes will take two shots. That was the first possession in a couple that we've seen that they haven't run that press, and you know, you can tell Reyes wanted to get aggressive very quickly. Yeah, we like that there from Reyes. As this is gonna be Anthony, 22 for 34 from the line. And the first one goes in, and we're gonna see Joel George enter this game, and a little bit more size coming in as they substitute out Michael Farrell. Actually, it's pretty much one for one. They're about the same height. George, one of the leading rebounders on this team. 
definitely looking to make uh, his presence felt on the, on the glass. He certainly can, as Anthony Reyes has made his presence felt on the score sheet. As he picks up a couple of free throws, makes it 11 to nine. Here's Chicatelli, a couple of dance moves as both Reyes brothers out on the floor, and they help each other out on the seal as it's forced out of bounds, and it will go over to the right side. I know that Braylon Moore not happy about it, but it was indeed his hand that sent it over the line. We were talking about Anthony's shoes, but Alex has got some even brighter ones on if you look in front of you. Oh my goodness, oh man. That, that's like straight up, you know, just hot Barbie pink just he's got pink. going on. Right? Greta Gerwig pink, I want to call it. Here for tonight, the director. I can't the lie, they're hard though. No, they are hard. Oh no, that's a, that's a compliment all the way. That's a great movie. Karpinski. They remind me of the Patrick colorways of the Kyrie's yes. a couple years ago. Yes, absolutely. Here's Orgiekwe, aggressive, off the box and in. And Ortera, Orgiekwe, he's got his first two. He's had an assist in today's game as well. Now we're tying up at 11, and already the makings of an intense contest early on. Chicatelli just kind of lobs one up in the air. Rebound pulled down by Moore, and he knocks it over. Hornets converting a lot more offensive takes now down the floor with this press going. I don't know why they stopped it. You know, here, here it is back. Let's see how they handle it. Long pass, Orchie Ekwe gets one touch, and they're going to call a little too much contact there against James Mocknell, the soccer player. So second team foul here and another substitution coming in. Simeon Washington is out, and Jai Royale is in. And that, that's a pretty great name. I hope it's Royale. It's spelled Royal. Eh, maybe we'll have to go with Royal. I mean, either way, it's cool. Bounce pass, Mocknell. Alex Reyes now from the logo. Being given a little bit of space here. Hopping in and out is Royal. George off the screen. Creating space, Reyes. Reyes inside, hand is down. And Jihad Moore is able to get it out of the way. Great defensive collapse there by Par Hills. Didn't get scrambled up on the pick and roll. Or, pardon me, Lattimore. Forgot the first part of his name. Deshad Lattimore with the block, and again, Reyes trying from inside. Now they try to throw it off of George, and it's given back to Braylon Moore. Now, Hanover Park looked like for a split second they were going to take a page out of Coach Hosenberg's uh, book and try that high press, but nothing doing. Tatis over the timeline for free. Screen being set up by Lattimore. And now he shakes it loose as George has been falling for it. Under two minutes left to go, a two-point lead. Here's Tatis going in again. Off the glass, pull down Reyes, and stepping on the baseline, though, was the 13 of Karpinski, so it's going to stay over here. And a big game for both these teams with the Morris County Tournament coming up very soon. The Vikings with their highest seed in about two decades. As here we go inside with a late jump, and again, can't get it down. Moore tries from inside the key. Now they look again, more missed shots, and this time they draw a foul. I know that possession ended in a foul, but George with, great, with two great defensive uh, possessions back to back. Couldn't quite grab the board, but his, his straight up verticalness and his presence, definitely gonna be hard to score in the paint with him on the floor. Lattimore has only shot four free throws this season, but he's made three of them. And as that one hits off the back iron, he's now three for five. I'll put Anthony Reyes back in for Orgy Ekwe, looking for a little bit more speed in lieu of the size out here in the final 90 seconds of period number one. We got the Reyes brothers' chemistry here in the backcourt. Maybe that sparks something for if you're, uh, if you're the park. It never hurts, right? From the driveway to the hardwood. That's what here I'm we saying. go again, outside. Beautiful shot, and he's got it. Johnny Karpinski is second three. And he's got eight points. Starting to heat up now. Putting a lot of pressure on uh, Par Hills here. And what a smooth stroke he's got, too, from the outside. You can't give him any space. That was pretty far off the line as well. That was almost like an NBA three. Pump fake to Lattimore. Royal turns it over. And another chance for Karpinski. He sees George in his sight, slows it down, and a little too high velocity. And, you know, that might be because they're forced to throw the ball so hard from that full court press, it's still in their head. He did not have to just heat that ball over to his They're moving so quickly, time. it's very hard to make just, uh, split second decisions. You know, when you're running full speed down the court, you know, it's a, it's a little hard to put on the brakes and recognize when you need to slow up a little bit. And by points per game, these two teams, you know, they won't stand, jump off the page as really well defensive, but that's because they're so fast offensively. Both teams allowing about 60 points per contest. Here's Tatis from beyond the arc. 
Now Lattimore wants to work on George. Cuts over to the outside, now off the glass and nothing doing. Hooked up in the air, out of bounds, and Hanover Park will get possession. And now no shot clock in New Jersey High School basketball, so if they want, they can hold on to it for the full 30 seconds, as long as they get it over the line. Uh, they get a challenge, we'll see. George, double team, Karpinski in, and in again! Great finish again. Johnny Karpinski's got 10 points. Starting to cover live now. You can see the confidence is there. It's a lot more aggressive. For the first time, Hanover Park has a lead. Tatis, ball outside, Lattimore, and it goes off the iron. Now a chance for Reyes. Three seconds left in the corner, gets slapped away, and they'll be able to inbound the ball. I, they, they gotta add a little more time here. They're not going to, but I mean, they let a full second and a half, maybe two seconds melt off after the whistle. So it's gonna have to be a quick touch pass and stuff because Karpinski's- I think gonna be a Karpinski pin down. It's comes. gonna have to be. Karpinski and drop teams in the air, no shot. As Hanover Park take a 16 to 14 lead after the first quarter. So nice work by Hanover Park figuring out Park Hill's defense. And we'll see a little bit more of that right after this on Garden State Sports. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers. All prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pascarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. All right, I just decided which pen to use on which paper now, so we're good to go here in the second quarter of action between Hanover Park and Par Hills here on Garden State Sports. Zach Smolin and George White hanging out with you at the hardwood in the wooden gym at the Hive at Hanover Park High School. It's gonna start off with Anthony Reyes. He's got a couple of points due to some free throws. Reyes looking to distribute over to his brother Alex. Alex, long pass, Karpinski, Tatis nearly got it, and now here's Reyes, little pop-up jumper, and Joel George nearly pulled it down. That time, Anthony Reyes looked like, you know, he's trying to put on the Kyrie moves there, a little step in, step back, couldn't get it to drain, though. So, Zach, tell me, what type of adjustments do you think that both coaches made in that period between the quarters that can get either one of their teams out to, out to a lead here? You know what, you know what, George? That's probably the question I should have asked you, uh, but, I, I think for Hanover Park, it's a lot more of slowing the ball down. Again, there's no shot clock. All you have to do is get it over the line that you can set up for Par Hills. Again, they've got to just be better down low. As we get a shot from outside, Alex Reyes, and he's got his first three. If I'm the Hornets, I'm trying to get the ball in Anthony Reyes' hands every time that press comes up because he is by far your most fundamentally sound guard in the backcourt. I think he's going to make the right reads, the right decisions, and once you get that ball across half court, that's where you really need to settle down and get in your sets. Well, and he's so fast too, right? Like he's able to cut through the defense, which he's is very, exactly what you need. He's very, very like, I don't know how to describe it, almost like uh, like slithery. He's very small. Yeah, he can, he's he can wind around screens kind of. <laughs> Again, to remind you, this broadcast brought to you by Online Computer. Also, Paul Miller Auto Group, Lincoln Tech, Zyphon Orthodontics, and Smythe Volvo. As another turnover, George picks it up, gets it over Karpinski, and there we go with Alex Reyes. He's been their best defensive player all game by far. George has an opening on the inside. They opted not to give it to him. Reyes to Reyes again. Anthony inside George up in the air, but some contact. Great and the ball going the other way. I thought there was Wait, certainly a foul on Par Hills. I am not very sure. Is that a turnover? I, I, I guess so. I, I think, think because it, it went out of bounds. Through his hands. Yeah. Okay. Like he did touch it, but I thought that they were going to call yeah, a foul I on Parsippany like for him a reach. Yeah, I thought they were going to call a foul on the way up or something. Right, they decided not to. 
Hanover Park up 19 to 14. Remember, they did lead at the half the last time these two teams played this season. And Bar Hills ended up winning as Tatis again another being very one. aggressive inside, but George pulls it down. Now another feed, Bucknell off the glass and a little too much touch on it as he cannot get it to go. Now Mocknell making the life of Ciccatelli very difficult. Ciccatelli charges in and they're gonna call Mocknell for a second foul. That was a blocking foul. I don't, I don't know, I don't think he kind of got in his path. I thought he was kind of on his hip, but. Yeah, again, you know, Officials sometimes see it just a little bit differently. Although, I, honestly, sometimes I say they're a little bit closer. We're almost as close as they are down here on the floor. As Orgy Ekwe is going to enter the game for Mocknell. Again, Mocknell with two fouls. Over to the outside to Nick Vicko. And now back for Tatis. Tatis on George. Speed advantage again off the glass. And, you know, he's been trying that over and over again. Not having a lot of success here. As Orgy Ekwe in transition as he gets knocked over. And... Vicko was irate, and now he's able to pick up the foul, although again, not 100% sure. I thought maybe he was in as well. So we have the block on the one end, then the charge on the other side, and you know, Hanover Park's probably not gonna be too, too happy about it. Very fast, uh, a very uh, fast game, fast paced game we have going on here in the second quarter. Giordano has checked in. Giordano with no scoring so far today. Hanover Park with four different scores. Same could be said for Par Hills. Chicatelli, Simeon Washington. He's only got two points today. Trying to get himself on the board a little more. Here's more from the outside. Won't be three. It's pulled right back down Tartis, and he's finally able to bang one off the glass. He's got six points, but it's taken him a lot of tries there from in the paint. No, they did score on that possession. I did like Karpinski's switch. Um, from the rotation in the corner. That's what I was talking about. I feel like this uh, Hanover Park Hornets team, they're very, very good with the communication on the on the perimeter. That is one thing I've noticed that they don't let a lot, they don't let a lot slip through the cracks, no. you know, with their, their zones and their traps and their closeouts. I feel like they're, I don't think uh, Park Hills is gonna get many looks from the outside this game. I don't think so either. I mean, Hanover Park, it almost looks like they want them to go to the inside because they know that they're the bigger team. They've got George, they've got Farrell down low. So that's again, a, if you take away the three. That's a very smart strategy. If you funnel all your players into George, he's proven this game that he is, he's not letting anything go up the rim. So Although, I feel like that's how you can really, really stop this Vikings team. Well, they didn't take the perimeter away that time as Moore is able to knock down his first three of the game. Moore's got five points, pass outside Karpinski. He's got two threes this game. Now all the way to the other end. Here's Reyes, and he gets it down. They've only missed one three today. Alex Reyes is two for two from beyond the arc. So good job there by Reyes. Again, this, this you know guard-heavy team when it comes to scoring, but their defense is all about their big men over on the Hornet side. Tatis again with a lot of big bodies around him trying to use his speed. Couldn't even get it up to the rim height that time as Karpinski got his arms in the way. Karpinski doesn't want to work. Floor. Yep, there we go. They tried to get it over. And they call a timeout. Hanover Park does. And it's interesting because you see two quick steps was able to get around Tatis. It's almost like they're allowing themselves to be intimidated by Par Hills' defense. I think because Karpinski was definitely looking for Reyes on that possession, so I think that they did make an emphasis to try and get it to him on these, um, on these, uh, on the pressure in the backcourt. So I think he just got, he just didn't know what decision to make there. And again, you know, that's going to be the big conversation I think at halftime too is breaking down this full court press. Uh, just because overall it's forced a lot of bad mistakes, but you know, it, the full court press, and this isn't taking anything away from Par Hills, but it, this isn't the best full court press that I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, they're really just putting the bodies out there and almost just trying to scare the Hornets into thinking that they can't get they're over the line. playing more of a zone press. Right. They haven't, they haven't had to get tight on the man quite yet, which is definitely an adjustment that they'll make if they figure it out over on the left side, but I mean, at least for now, this isn't something that's above the Hornets' pay grade. You can tell that they're more about playing the passing lanes. Like, they're just stunting their defenders to try and get them to make a long pass. And once the ball's in the air, they all just crash on the ball and don't let it get to the man. So. All right, so now they turn off the full court as they allow Michael Giordano to get started with it. 
Giordano, outside Reyes. A lot of high passes, too, to get over the heads of the Vikings. And now a jump outside, and they've got a foul coming in on number 11 for the Vikings. An off-ball foul for Tatis, and Tatis is like, what was that about, dude? <laughs> So now Hanover Park will start it with the baseline. 3.50 left to go in the second quarter. Up by three. Face a plenty of three-point shots. Inside, George off the glass and in. And that was just, you couldn't draw that one up better from the sidelines there. That was a great cut and a great find there. Joel George, I mean, I don't know how you're able to sneak around being that tall, but he certainly found a way to do it. Tatis outside more, looking for another three. Bounces off, pulled down now by the 15 of Andrew Herr. Now Chicatelli. Chicatelli inside through the paint, little push down, and it's sent away by Simeon Washington, who's finally got four. Long pass Karpinski, all good alone, job, Reyes, Anthony. nice and easy. Anthony Reyes has got four. They did a great job breaking it down there. Now they tried to get more in at the very end, but at that time it was just way too late. Hanover Park getting a little too aggressive defensively. Simeon Washington, he'll get it to go from downtown, but unfortunately does not find Twine. Lob pass outside. Look at that beautiful touch over there to Reyes. Now Reyes is going to pop one up over the defense. Takes a couple. George pulls down the offensive rebound. Back for Reyes. Inside. Tries to draw contact and he gets it to go. Alex Reyes and one. And Reyes has eight points. A chance for nine. And that's another thing you've got to respect about his game is that he's one of the bigger guys on the wing. So when you get in the paint and get that first step, it's, he's going to be very hard to step, especially if your defender's trailing you. Now Par Hills is going to send in Pelusiak, TJ Pelusiak, the junior, when they have their next opportunity to. This one goes up and bounce away. There is also a violation, so it doesn't matter. Alex Ray is up for one from the line. 28 to 21. Hanover Park really pulling away here, up by seven. It's been a 12 point swing from halfway through the last quarter where Par Hills found themselves up by five. Pelusiak, she delivers over to Braylon Moore again for three, he's got it. Moore with his second three of the game. Starting to get comfortable, you can see that. Now Giordano, he thought about it. Andrew Hurd, just a little too big in front of him. Now Carpinski. Back for Reyes, pump fakes over to his brother Alex. Now completes Karpinski, Joel George really wants it down low. He's the biggest man on the floor right now. They try outside again, and Giordano's got three. I didn't know there was rain in the forecast, George. Yeah, that's three straight possessions where you get an open look from three and they, they made him pay for it. We're gonna call Cyclone Simone after today to see what the forecast is for the second half because right now it's been a steady dose of three balls and great defense by Hanover Park. Long lob and oh, there's a foul going against Sati, so that'll be his second. So, I mean, that might not have been the worst foul in the world as it did slow down Hanover Park's offense. Their uh, Hanover Park's half-court defense has definitely been the X factor in the second quarter here. It's allowed them to really pull away. And they're converting on the other end off the defensive possessions because they are getting out and running almost every time down the floor. But I will say that Par Hills, their full court um, defense has been much more impressive this game. But I think the Hornets are kind of taking advantage of what they have in the half court. I agree. As Johnny Karpinski now 15 for 22, a rare miss from the line. As he gets that one down. So Johnny Karpinski's now got 11 points. Hanover Park will take over. I will say this, you know, home court advantage for Hanover Park, but the Park Hills fans have been really loud uh, whenever the Hornets have gotten to the free throw stripe. So you know, good on them for travels. Yeah. yeah, not too long of a trip anyway. You know, Parsippany and Hanover Park, hop, skip it a jump. You always like to see it when you're on the road and your fan section is being loud and aggressive, especially in a hostile environment. Interdivision game two, beautiful cuts over to the outside for Reyes. Reyes fakes going up, now he's gonna charge inside. Reyes, not a lot of space for Karpinski. Karpinski getting double teamed, gonna lob it up anyway, and he'll find himself back on the line. I don't know how he got that look off. He was, the, the hand was completely in his face, but he still got that, that, that shot up and almost made it as well. I will say this, again, 
Hanover Park definitely has a size advantage in this game, and I think Karpinski's really playing into that. He's just able to get his hands up higher than everybody else. Now Karpinski up to 12 points, and we'll see the starter of Michael Farrell come right back in for Hanover Park, giving Joel George a bit of a break. 85 seconds left in the half, and another one knocked down by Karpinski. He's really having himself a game already in half number one. Here's Washington, feeds outside. No Tatis, as he's already got a handful of fouls. This is lobbed way up in what the air and shot. in. What a shot by Moore. I mean, talk about a talented three-point shooter. Yeah, he's coming alive here in the second corner, and if, if, if you're at the Hornets, you do not want that at all. He's got 13 points this game. Here's Reyes, and whoa. Well, a little bit of Kawhi Leonard, but I'm sure he's happy that it fell through. Under 50 seconds left to go in the half, and now these teams training buckets. Hornets up by nine, swatted away, and the ball stay over here. Every time I see the ball move around like that, I just think about that Raptors game seven was, over and over again. That was oh one of the God. craziest shots in NBA history. Her for Nick Vicko. Now dribble through, and a little too aggressive coming in that time on Reyes. Let's see who picked up the foul. Oh, they are going to give it a block on Reyes. All right, so it's going to stay over here. I think going into the second half, Parhill should definitely look to get Brayden more, very, very uh, much more involved. Run a lot more motion for him and try to get him open. Yeah, he's been great. He's made all sorts of threes. Washington is down. Here's Karpinski working in, tries to heave it up. And because they're in the bonus, once again, going to go to the line. Yeah, why not take advantage here? You know, you put one of your best free throw shooters over and over again, got plenty of time to tack on a couple more. And Karpinski knocks down his fourth in a row after missing his first free throw. And to close out the first half, we'll see Michael Giordano in. He's got three points today. And yet again, five in a row. A really solid showing for Johnny Karpinski. He's got 15 in the first half. Over his past couple games, he's definitely been known to kind of get out to a very hot start. And uh, that's what's got this uh, Hornets team on such a roll lately. Like, like I said before, they won seven of their last eight coming into this game on a four-game win streak. Yeah, they're really feeling the heat here. As here comes Reyes off the glass and in. Alex Reyes has got even more now. And Par Hill's going to scramble for one more shot. Not enough. What, how about this from Hanover Park? They score 24 points here in the second quarter Let's and take a commanding lead, only allowing 13. They are getting out and running on these fast breaks, and they are not letting up at all. What a second quarter for the Hanover Park Hornets. They're going to carry into the half up 40 to 27, and we'll be back with the second half of action right after this on Garden State Sports. I am the chair of the Brock Eichler personal injury department in Roseland. Really well.
hockey team. Uh, I'm a hockey parent like most of you are. And uh, if you ever involved in an accident, that be a auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Hi, I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our season pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. For years, it has been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed. 
a simple moment of dress-up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. All right, welcome back. We are now in the second half, hanging out here at Hanover Park High School, the Hive in Wooden Gym, and before we Continue to get going. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Online Computers. Do you own a business, and are you frustrated with the technology? Well, this is your sign to finally do something about it. Online Computers provides custom tech services tailored to your business and prioritizes your needs. Visit OnlineComputers.com to get started with a free consultation. We'd also like to thank Paul Miller Auto Group, Lincoln Tech, Zeifman Orthodontics, and Smythe Volvo. And, of course, ICS, it is still 34 degrees outside here in East Hanover, New Jersey. Check out ICS HVAC for all of your comfort needs. Big first half for Johnny Karpinski in the Hanover Park Hornets. And uh, you had a, a little bit of a, a, you know, some serendipity happen uh, running into Johnny Karpinski at the half. Yeah, um, <laughs> I was able to speak to him a little bit during the half on what uh, his team decided to do about the, that press that was eating them alive in the first half. So I asked him about the adjustments and what they talked over in the locker room. Karpinski told me that um, they're just very, they're, they're looking to settle down because they got four turnovers off of that press and a lot of them were live balls. So coach was definitely telling him, settle down, work the ball around, you know, get comfortable and don't, don't feel pressured or rushed by that press because you know, it, it just results in a lot of turnovers for him. So definitely the number one thing looking to improve on in the second half here. It looks like they settled down a little bit here as after 19 seconds in the first quarter, ball's gonna go the other direction as Hanover Park forces a lot of misses. That happened in quarter number one. Remember there was like, I don't know, both teams started to combine 0 for six. So that's what we started off here. And you know, Par Hills is doing a nice job getting looks from down low, but they just can't get any makes. I think the one thing they need to focus on on getting back in this game is definitely just to uh, lock down their half court off uh, defense. Excuse me. Um, as you can see here, they're being very, very aggressive and got the defensive rebound there. So now they're out on the break, and they're a fast team too. They're very athletic. They can they can defend as well. And as you can see there, uh, they got the N one to go down. So. Yeah, there we go. a good start so far. There we go with Julio Tatis, who was teed up earlier in the contest. I believe he's got three fouls now in this game. That's why it was pulled at the end of the first half. But Tatis gets his first bucket to go. He's got six points in the game. And again, well on his way to 1,000 for his career. 
Hanover Park not returning the favor by banging on the bleachers, doing the free throw shot. They don't need it though as Tatis misses all three free throws that he's had today. Here's Giordano, I was talking to his mom at the half and she said, sorry Zach, my blood pressure's a little high due to the game. I said, well your son knocked down a three and your team's in the lead, so that's gonna help calm you down a little bit. And she laughed and you know, Darlene's a big reason why we're out here today, so thank you Darlene for helping us book these broadcasts. And if you want your broadcast here on the air, Check us out, george.muha at gardenstatesports.com or zach at morrissussexsports.com. That wasn't a mistake. My email is still Sports. And, of course, if you're watching right now, please consider subscribing. It makes a big difference for us out here and helps spreading all of the good stuff that we're doing here at Garden State Sports all across the state. Moore, again, good luck, missed outside, but that's what they want there from Moore as they get another pop-up one to go here from Nick Vicka. And we did get some pronunciation corrections. It's Sicatelli, so pardon me for Joey Sicatelli. And it's Jai Royal, not Ja Royale. Although, I mean, I did talk to his mom. She's like, no, Royale sounds pretty cool. You can say it if you want to. I'm like, nah, we, we want to get it right. Hanover Park, no points so far in the first minute and a half. Tatis inside, fires away. This is going to go for two if it drops. Does not. Pulled right back down by the Vikings. Doing a great job on the offensive boards. Here's Washington now, clear lane. And he's in there as Simeon Washington now has his first points of the half. He only had four in the first quarter. Another early and timeout here for Par Hills. No, I think, oh, I, I, no, I I think, think Hanover Park's oh, calling sorry, it. Hanover here. Park, excuse me, excuse me. No, it's okay. Yeah, Hanover Park, no surprise that they're calling it here, though. I mean, they, they've allowed a 4 nothing run, and sometimes you want to stop those runs before they really get going. Yeah, I think um, I think Par Hill's definitely emphasized on, you know, that defensive aspect because they've got off to uh, two good defensive possessions here, both leading in points on the board. So I think Hanover Park just needs to talk it over and see what they need to fix. After the first half of play, Hanover Park had two players with double-digit points. Alex Reyes with 12 and Johnny Karpinski with 15, leading all scorers in this game. On the other side for Par Hills, Braylon Moore at 13 points, which is was just below half of his team's total after the first half. So it had been the Braylon Moore show. And again, part of your analysis after the first half was, you know, get him the ball a lot more. And I think that might be the answer. Even though he's at 13, I don't. it, it seemed kind of quiet to me. Yeah. You know, it, I, I, it might just be because they're down, but... I think another part was more was hitting pretty much everything outside, but for the most part, the Vikings have been trying to run a more interior attack. You saw it a lot from Washington, Tartis down low, you know, trying to hook things around some of the bigger bodies on the Hornets. So after the timeout, Hanover Hart gonna pick it up and no full court press unless Simeon Washington walks in a little more here. I say if it's, don't, if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. If it's gonna get you back in the game, I say you, I, I don't see why they're not pressing now that they're down. Giordano, handoff, Karpinski, wide open, three, it's down! Johnny Karpinski's got 18. Without the press, you know, that's a that's a very big possibility now on offense. You know, you let this Hanover Park team run their half-court offense and they're gonna make you pay. So I say that they try to run the press again. Now they're looking through again on the outside. Dancing around and it goes off Tatis and out of bounds. So some sloppy passing now coming from the Vikings, something that we saw from Hanover Park in the first quarter. Now the script flipping over to the other side and you know, definitely not good news for this Vikings team who had a very strong second half against Hanover Park when they were in their gym, but now at the high it gets a little bit more difficult. Although, George, we did mention these teams have identical records in terms of Hanover Park 7-1 at home, 7-1 on the road for the Vikings. Here's Anthony Reyes. He had four points. And now Orji Ekwe knocks the body down, and he's able to get it in. So Orji Ekwe's got two to go, and it's 43-31. I have a lot of faith in this Vikings team to kind of make some adjustments here in the second half, seeing that they are so good on the road, and clearly in the second half of play, they're a lot uh, stronger after getting to talk it over in the huddle at halftime. Yeah, Mike Herzenberg. A lot of experience. So Orziekwe knocks one down. And now he's got himself three points here in the second half. Yeah, Coach Herzenberg is in his 10th year as the head coach of the Par Hills Vikings. Won a couple of league championships at Newton in the late 90s and started at FDU Madison in the early 2000s, which is where Chris Smith on the Hornets is right now, or from the Hornets. As now the set it ahead, Orziekwe. Now bounce pass through, and we do have a lot of contact 
as Michael Farrell was certainly impeded on his way to the basket. He might as well have gotten tackled on that play. He got, a, he got two bodies on him, slapping him down. I will say, you know, something he's used to. He did. He was on the football team as a receiver. Uh, yeah, he's, he's huge. Also a pretty nasty punter, too. He had some really nice long launches as Hanover Park did manage to win a playoff game on the football field this season. Made the playoffs in all three years that I've covered him. Here's Karpinski, a bit of an air ball, but we'll call it a pass as it Possibly. goes over to Giordano. I think defenders might have got a hand on it, but I'm not sure on that. We'll call it a, we'll chalk that one up to we'll him. Give we'll, him. Yeah, we'll give that to him. Yeah, we'll give him an assist. According to Garden State Sports right now, Zach Smolin and George White, he gets an assist. Here we go outside, Washington for three. Can't get it to fall, and Orji Ekwe with an aggressive rebound, but it's taken out of his hands, pushed right back up, and Orji Ekwe was not too happy to get his pocket picked, and almost sent his man down right after the fact. What a series of aggressive play right there from Hanover Park and from the Vikings. That's what you need, honestly. If you're down this much, you need to be aggressive defensively. You need to be playing the passing lanes and try to get, you know, uh, just easy steals that lead to easy points. So keep it simple, stay locked in, and be fundamental about it, and hopefully climb back in this game. Tatis, nice swing, take it away now. Here's Alex Reyes, unimpeded, towards the basket and in. Almost lost it there. Yeah. He's laughing about it on the way back. It, it would have been something he wanted to forget if he had kicked that out of bounds, oh, but he's sure. able to save it. Giving it a good laugh. So now a timeout coming from Par Hills, and again, down by 19 now. And you know, again, a team that's not exactly on a big slide, but you know, lo losing four of their last seven after winning seven in a row and facing a familiar opponent. Hanover Park has the opportunity to beat Par Hills now for the third time in four tries heading back to last year. And you know that's gotta be on Coach Herzenberg's mind. Yeah, um, I blinked and now it is almost <laughs> a 20 point lead. Yeah. So that's just the danger of this uh, uh, Hornets team. Like if, when they get out in transition and the pace is up, they're a hard team to beat. And uh, the Vikings are unfortunately getting the wrong end of that stick because right now they just can't they're making a lot of sloppy plays um, just can't seem to get much going on either side of the floor so uh, let's see what coach draws up here to kind of get his guys in line it's gonna take a, a spark maybe it's a more three maybe it's a breakaway from Tatis if he makes an aggressive play on a full core press but you know, it, it's got to be one of those spark guys, those glue guys, I think, that's going to need to get this Par Hills team going here. You know, down 19, but the game's not over yet. There's still plenty of time left. You've got, you know, half the amount of time left in this third quarter, and then you've got a full eight minutes back in the fourth. So, you know. Well, you so, know what they say, Zach, defense wins championships. Yeah, it does. So if I'm them here, uh, at, the, at the bare minimum, I am looking to lock down. I am looking to, on the defensive side of the ball, not allow anything because – at the very least, that stops the, the lead from ballooning out even more. And right now, this team is red hot, and here they come again. Here's Karpinski over towards the line, fakes the three outside. They look for another three, and they get it with Alex Reyes. Take Alex Reyes has down. three threes today. Now they look for it again. Inside, Joel George, hand in the way. George looks like he, he's playing like he's about seven feet tall today. He, that's how tough it's been for them to get around him. That's what I'm saying, man. He's, he's, he's extremely good on the defensive end. You know, he, he, not everyone needs to be, you know, that, that offensive star. A lot of that grit and grind comes on the defensive end, and he's showing that here today. But what the, the thing is about this Park Hills team is that you cannot feed into the pace of this game. No. Even though, you know, they're, they're, the ball's moving, people are running, when, when the lead is like this and they're getting out and they're as good as a team as they are in transition, whenever Par Hills get the ball, they need to look to slow it down because it, the, nothing but sloppy possessions are coming out of it. Washington now has eight points this game after knocking down his first two free throws of the contest. Outside George, what a fake. George goes inside and finishes. Joel George with another big bucket for his team. <laughs> My goodness, what a play. Joel George, more like Joel Embiid. Seriously. Man, I, you see what he did with his hands that time? Just a little round the world and attack nice right fake. at Christina. Can we see that one again, maybe? It might be too late. Maybe. Although, here's Washington now back to the line. I don't think I'll forget it, though. That was a no, great we fake and a great. It. it was almost like a Euro step. He kind of. It was. Big man can move a little bit. And that's okay. As we'll just watch Washington knock down these two. First one goes up and in. Washington mid deadly accurate from the stripe. That's he's three for three. And now Mockno is out after a brief shift and coming in the number 14 of Thomas Tatita. 
We haven't seen a lot of Sicatelli so far in the second half of play, the 13 of the Vikings. He was a key facilitator early on. He's got to start getting going as well in this one as Washington now four for four from the free throw line just in this half. Here's Reyes inside George. George was pinched. Now Reyes again, up and oh, everything is falling for this kid today. Well, including him as he went down on the way, but Alex Reyes. I don't think they could miss right game. now if they tried. No, I don't think so either. I haven't been keeping track of makes and misses, but they've got to be well over 60% shooting in this half. And now Sigatelli is out making way for Palasiak. Clearly bringing over a lot of momentum from the first half into the second one. 57 to 35, they've got a 22 point lead. As, again, that wasn't the prettiest free throw in the world and it still fell the right direction. Henry Park playing some of the best basketball we've seen out of them all season long. Tatis with a little head nod, trying to move him around and we've got a travel there. Braylon Moore gets caught tap dancing. He doesn't have any points in this half so far. Back over the timeline. Now they get it inside for Reyes. Good bounce pass to George. A little too hot though, ends up out of bounds. And a rare Hanover Park turnover here in the third quarter. I think that's just what this Viking team needs. A good defensive possession to really kind of slow the momentum down a little bit. And the thing with the Vikings is they have just the same type of explosive offense. So they can make a comeback in a hurry if they keep uh, if they catch the Hornets napping. Shutting down more of this game is Definitely been one of their many X factors. It's not, it, not even that he's getting totally shut down, but they're not letting him get many shots from the perimeter to go up. And, you know, it, they're trying to keep, uh, keep him out of rhythm and take him out of this game. He's 0 for 1 from 3 this quarter, and it was a pretty decent shot, too. But again, just no opportunities for him. Here's Karpinski works his way through, and it gets swatted away from him. Hanover Park will keep possession. Coming in, Alex Reyes with a hand in his face. Long lob, finds his brother. Now back from Anthony to Alex. Alex in front of his own bench. Looked to pop one up, intercepted Washington. Now Anthony Reyes is going back one on one. Hands in the air, a great fundamental defense from Anthony Reyes that time. Went straight up, didn't foul. All right, here's George Washington with time. Feeds off to the side, a good defense by Washington there to prevent the free bucket. George gets rid of it. Under two minutes left in the third quarter. Though they didn't convert on that possession, good back-to-back -back defensive possessions for Par Hills. Even though you didn't convert, Reyes looks a little shaken up here, but he's going to get up. But even though you didn't convert, those are the type of uh, the type of opportunities that you need to kind of get back in this game. And Tatis getting into a little bit of foul trouble here. It's another one. He said he ran into me, but I mean, it looked like he was trying to initiate a square dance there over on the a, uh, over on the HP logo. But again, you know, it, it could still. I agree. It probably was incidental. Oh, oh my gosh, Karpinski is. <laughs> that, that might have been a heat check. He's getting he's getting confident here today. Now Reyes will do it, and it's his first miss in a while. Starting to slow down a little bit. You know, they got to stay with it. They do find themselves up by 23, but again. This is a Par Hills team that you can never kind of rest on your laurels against. Well, they're trying to figure out what, what happened here. I think they're going to say that was not Karpinski just based off his body language. More to inbound. Tatis cuts in and again, just nowhere for him to go with George and Karpinski there. It's more outside, and boy, did they need that. Great defense, better offense. Great find for Braylon Moore. Braylon Moore 16, but only three this quarter. What a block. As George gets blocked and more bookending, but the other way. Oh my goodness, that just got <laughs> completely batted out of the air. That was number zero on number zero crime right there. That ball had nowhere to go Braylon with 64 Moore seconds to come left. Alive here. Hit, hit the three, hit the hard uh, look three point shot came back down on the other end, got a great block, so. Yeah, trying would, to get his team back in the game. Let's see what happens. That was an unreal look that he was able to get. 
off his hand as Giordano and Orji Ekwe ready to come back in. There's more from the outside. And again, you can't give him too many looks. He has five threes today. I like that play. He ran the baseline, you know, got um, not quite uh, screens for him, but ran yep. around the uh, end of the court, got a good look in the corner. Now a turnover and a good play by Anthony Reyes. Fortunate for Hanover Park. They've got a three on one coming ahead up in the air and down through the basket. Anthony Reyes now has six points. I think he may lead the team in steals per game. He's great at playing the pass. Oh, yeah. Great right with his hands. Up in the air, Tatis, and he's able to get a few to go as now some of the you know, some of the luck moving back over towards the side of Par Hills after being fairly unlucky to start the game. Alex Reyes gets blocked down. Ten seconds left in the third. Pass inside. Washington bounces away down from George. George is trapped by the baseline outside Karpinski. And that'll close things out. Henry Park, though, still pick up 20 points in a quarter where it didn't seem like they were quite at their smoothest. And over at the other side, 16 for Parsimony Hills. It's going to be a 17-point lead for the Hornets when we come back right here on Garden State Sports. perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. All right, back at you here in the fourth quarter of action. Hanover Park with a 60 to 43 lead over Par Hills. And you know, Zach Schmoen and George White with you. Did a little bit of digging. Johnny Karpinski has tied his career high in points with 18 out here today. And it looks like he'll, he'll have a lot of opportunities to you know, get past it, maybe even shatter it. Here's Tatis, although of course, first things first, they gotta try to win this game as Karpinski Ends up, actually, no, they're going to say the foul was on Farrell there. So the ball's going to save around this side. There's a lot of work to be done right now, though, uh, for this team. The Parsippany Hills, I mean, they've really got to get into some sort of rhythm here. Down by 17, it's a, it's a lot. It's not impossible, you know. They could they could go on a, go on a run of their own. Uh, they are very talented in that respect, and, they you know, you know they can't explode offensively like that. But they really got to lock in here in this final uh, eight minutes of play. It's another team, you know, they, they average 64 points per game. But they just haven't, they've got a little unlucky here today too, but they're playing into Hanover Park and what the Hornets want them to do. As now here's Karpinski looking to pass. He got double team, throws one outside. Now a little cut in. Up in the air, blocked down. This one hits the baseline right back in and pulled up by Farrell. It's going to stay over here. They're going to say that a Viking stepped on the line. Coach Hartman not too happy about uh, some of the sloppy. Oh, no, I thought they pointed that direction, but I guess not. Ken, thank you for joining us here on Garden State Sports. Of course, it helps a go a long way to hit that subscribe button so you don't have to miss any of the action, especially with the county tournaments coming up here on Garden State Sports. Over to Orji Ekwe, outside. Giordano a little too far. Here's Farrell off the glass, and he can't knock it down. Orji Ekwe fighting for the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. Where's the possession arrow? And it's going to stay over here. This time, I think it actually is going to do that. Also, another thing for Hanover Park, though, the clock is their friend, and already a minute has gone by without any scoring from either team. That is true. Um, I wonder if they look to slow it down here in the final seven minutes, but you know, you can't you can't let the, the pace 
keep being quick because that gives Par Hills an opportunity to really climb back into this. And if the momentum swings in their favor, they're going to be very hard to stop. So I would try and work the clock here. Um, but if I am Par Hills, I would like to get it within single digits, you know, at least by five minutes left because, you know, at that point it's going to be very hard to kind of climb back into the game. Giordano, Farrell, nice post move, he gets it to go. Michael Farrell's got his fourth point to the game. Now Giordano working with the high press here on Sicatelli. For Moore, who's been a superstar today for the Vikings. Nick Vicko, tight defense by Karpinski. Keeping him to the outside. Good looking screen there. Maybe a shove, but we'll let it go. This gets flipped up in the air. Oh my oh. goodness, how did that find its way in? That was a great take. Great, great take. I mean, that, that one was just all about the spin that time. And he had a little bit of a euro on his, on his way to the rim. Yeah. He was able to flick it up off the glass while he was falling down. That's a tough shot. Sicatelli has his first points of the half and one for two free throws in this contest. And, uh, you know, any, every point counts in this one. Knocks that one down. Hanover Park going to bring in a couple of familiar faces. So now both Reyes brothers out on the floor. Joel George is out, or rather Giordano's out. So the size coming from George Karpinski and Orziekwe with the two guards up top. And Hanover Park called a timeout. I don't know who Coach called it. They, they, it. It looks like they're they're not even sure who called the timeout. Hey, Coach Hartman is, I mean, maybe a little short of flabbergasted. As it, it didn't seem like they called one, did it? Right? They looked very confused. Yeah. They looked confused themselves, but I guess. Was it that guy in the corner over there? I think that <laughs> Someone might have mumbled it. Yeah. Well. I mean, it's not great for them to lose a timeout. I mean, they're up by a lot here, 16, but... Are they, they able to retract the timeout if they call it? Because if I'm the coach, <laughs> I'm irate. I want to keep my timeouts I know. in case I need them. Well, it looks like he was just kind of sitting back, right, when they called the timeout. Yeah, it he, looked he's like looking he was around. Ready. Like, what do, you, what do you mean timeout? I don't know. but I would try and argue more of a case. Like, no one said timeout. What are you talking about? But I wonder what the ref heard, though, to kind of signal that. I wonder what happened. And you, know what, you know what this is a great time for if you're at home? Is to uh, put this in a smaller window real quick. Hit that red subscribe button. That is true. Right? That is true. That's what timeouts are for. Give the stream a like, subscribe. You know, Garden State Sports is growing, man. You know, I slowly am. becoming, we're slowly covering a lot more counties, a oh, lot yeah. more places in New Jersey, and even spots outside of New I Jersey. Just, so. I just made cars for Trinity Hall High School today. Uh, we, we sent a photographer out there. They're all the way down in Titton Falls, New Jersey. But uh, most of their girls' hockey, well, it's an all girls' school. Most of their girls' hockey team is now up on our social media at Garden State Sports. and. You can catch our Open Road Monster of Morristown player of the game right there on at Garden State Sports on our Instagram right after the conclusion of this contest. Bounce pass from Karpinski and getting knocked down. Okay, all right. Anthony Reyes, uh, well, he got pushed down to the floor. Apparently he did something wrong and by getting knocked over, so it's going to go the other direction. Although really good sportsmanship there by Washington who helped pick him up. Back to Washington. He's looking to get hot in this game. Now he falls down, and they call the foul now on Anthony Reyes, and the Hanover Park fan section not too happy as they felt like that call should have been made about 10 seconds ago. Just Hanover Park's third foul of the quarter. Still six and a half minutes left to go here in the fourth. Shot outside, more! And if his nickname isn't already Money Moore, it should be. He's got six threes today. They need to ride the hot hand. Um, if they have any chance of coming back in this game, it's going to be for him. 21 points for Braylon Moore. Puts his team back within 13. Here's Karpinski. He's tied his career high with 18 points. Reyes calls a play, calls his own number. And Anthony Reyes with his third bucket. Washington outside, here's Vicko a little short. And a long rebound, but Joel's there, shakes his head after. Said, uh-uh, this is my rock. 
Here's Orji Ekwe now. Orji Ekwe gonna use his momentum and it twirls out. Now back for Reyes. Gonna settle down. Oh, what a move to get her outside Sicatelli. Karpinski playing unselfishly. Getting it back over to Alex Reyes. Back to Alex from Anthony. George. Hanover Park again doing their best to slow this game down here. Skarpinski gets it back over to Reyes. Long possession for Hanover Park, really just what the doctor ordered. Very smart play here, you know, looking for the best shot you can possibly get. You know, the clock is your friend here, so. Although this one goes to Orsi hands. Something you don't want to do, though, is cause a turnover. Well, that's the big problem there with that, as nice and easy there, Andrew Hurst, he gets on the board for the first time. The more passes you make, the more likely you are for something like that to happen. So, you know, eventually they had to get a shot off, and looks like they were trying to get it with Orsi there, but there's a little I mean, too like much there. I the idea of trying to, you know, get the best shot you can, but there were a couple of times on that possession where you did have an open shot. So if I'm them, you've been making enough shots this game to, you know, pull anything that you feel confident with. And now the clock's ticked down all the way to 4.30. Good clock management by Hanover Park, still up by 13. Reyes to George, and he's got it. Joel George with six big points in this game, and even better defense. As now the Vikings throw it away, and Hanover Park can start to smell the momentum. I refuse to believe that he only has six points, because it feels like he has a double-double the way he's it been really playing does. on both ends of the floor. Oh, he's gotten so many rebounds, but again, those outlet passes to George, and just clogging up the middle all game long. Back for Karpinski. Park Karpinski gets it taken away. Here's Washington now. Nice, oh, oh my goodness! What a block by Alex Reyes! Washington had no idea that he was there. Let's see if we can get another look at that one. So again, we're gonna see the turnover occur. I feel like Washington definitely got lazy on that play towards I, the end there. I think so too. It kind of slowed up, but you know, with the, I, I, you got you gotta go strong with that. Yeah, and then Reyes comes right back in hand of the, yeah, he slowed down considerably at the end. And Great job on Alex Reyes there, not giving up on the play, getting back resulting in the chase down block. Now we've got almost a whole different unit out for the Vikings. So they're down 15 with four minutes left to go. Raheem Saeed is in with TJ Pelusiak. A couple of new names out on the floor with Deshaun Moore. Here's George underneath, oh nice and easy. Well, he's on his way to a double-double as he needs two more points. And I would imagine he's got 10 rebounds. He had two bodies on him, and he did not even look to pass. He was just going to make an aggressive move to the rim there. It just speaks to the substantial size advantage that... How tall is he? He's, he's got to be at least 6'4", six, 6'5", six, six, four, four, six, six, five, something like that. As this goes up, and it's in! There we go from Lattimore. And Lattimore's got his first three. That's what you need if you're Par Hills. You know, you got three minutes left, so... I'm, I'm surprised they are not pressing right now. They haven't pressed all quarter long. I'm surprised too, I guess. I don't know, you try to force Hanover Park to make a mistake here. Still have a chance, it's Orsi Ekwe though. That was arguably an and one. I'm surprised Ooh. there's no foul call. There. Yeah, another idea, well I think, I think they wanted to call it either way. They could have gotten a charge, they could have called the block too, because they kind of just ran into each other, but you know, no, nothing impeded his ability to shoot the basketballs. There's more from two, and he's almost better off taking a step back there. He's just been so good from three today. See him trying to get aggressive now, and might be a little too late, though, unfortunately. Hanover Park now putting up 70 points for the first time against Bar Hill since just about this time last year. Beat him twice in 2023 and then lost 73 to 68 back on December 22nd. So here's Alex Reyes now, winding the clock down over to Anthony Reyes. They get the heave over to George. George gonna create some space against Lattimore. Now double team Karpinski, George all alone inside, ducks down as someone go over his back and then throws it in. Not shot's not gonna count, but I mean, he just made that play look easy. Thank God no one got hurt there. That could have hurt very badly. Raheem Saeed got just a little over aggressive. 
<laughs> that time around. Uh, as he used uh, Joel George's body as a jungle gym. Here's Reyes. Trying to cross this man up. Good job staying in front by Lattimore. Outside Karpinski's got 21. Johnny Karpinski with a new career high, 21 points. So congratulations to him. And he does it in style as Lattimore puts an elbow down. And yeah, that's going to make the ball go the other way. Definitely stay tuned for the post game show where it will probably be Johnny uh, Karpinski, I'm assuming. He broke his career high. Kind of blew out their division rivals. I say, I say he's deserved it. I say he's well earned it. I'd certainly imagine. As Ryan Dominguez is going to get a little bit of time now coming in. Dominguez is senior. He's got 31 points on the season, and it's making it into its 11th contest. Dominguez, Alex Reyes. For on the outside with under 90 seconds left to go. Here's Horsey Ekwe from downtown, and it's pulled away by the Vikings. And Jai Royal. Now Orgy Ekwe keeps it in front from the baseline. Dances around and, well, throws it off of the knee of Braylon Moore. It still counts, though. That's how it goes out of play. They're not really taking their foot off the gas here. They're playing to the, to the final buzzer. Alvin Matthew going to enter. And Chris Pachia. As Hanover Park starters will get a well-deserved rest in this game. So big game all around, Hanover Park Hornets again, Johnny Karpinski, he's got himself a new career high. As with about a minute left to go, trying to give some guys some experience, and Alex Reyes is still there to anchor this lineup. Here's Dominguez. Little feed inside, twirl around Reyes. Reyes fakes the three. Now gets it back over to Dominguez. Again, stay tuned at Garden State Sports for our open road Mazda of Morristown player of the game. And he had some more moves off the pivot foot. Now outside for Reyes with 35 seconds left to go. And Park do not have to shoot the basketball if they don't want to. It's the Hornets looking great all around. They look to get it up in the air and Lattimore was in the way, but Hanover Park turned the ball over at the very end. And time for maybe one more shot coming from Par Hills. Palusiak. Royal swings it around for Braylon Moore. He's had himself a career type of day too. Six three-pointers, he's got 20 in this contest. Pulled back down Lattimore. Lattimore, he's got a lot of talent as there he goes again for Lattimore. So he'll end the game in style as he's got himself a couple of threes. But at the end of the day, 73 for Hanover Park, 57 for Par Hills as Hanover Park, who's gonna be the eighth seed of the Morris County Tournament, takes down the team that's gonna be the five seed. And I mean, if you're the Hornets, you've gotta be feeling really good about this win. Yeah, this is a great showing for them. Arguably their best basketball all season long. Karpinski has a, no, uh, has a new career high, you know, just completely rolling now, making that five wins in a row. Um, winning, what, eight of their last nine now? So, yeah, yeah they're, look, they're rolling right now. They're looking very form, uh, formidable in that Liberty division. And now dropping five of their last eight games is Par Hills. And Hanover Park also a big one for them in this game. They've scored 70 points now two games in a row and have allowed under 60 for three games in a row. Again, our open road Mazda Morristown player of the game going to be Johnny Karpinski. Again, go at Garden State Sports for that interview and for everybody involved in this contest. Matt McGuire on the camera. Christina Fakats on the ones and twos. George Muha, our executive producer, associate producer, Caitlin Langan, and our supervising uh, producer, Katura Sassman. George White, fantastic job on color commentary thank you, thank his first you. time. My name is Zach Small, and remind you, as always, to stay frosty. And we'll see you next time. Hanover Park, 73, Park Hills, 57. Maybe trying to conserve a little energy. They, they seem burned out at the end of that game against the Vikings. 
A minute in, no field goals, plenty of opportunities though as they pass across, beautiful interception, Washington high off the glass, and Tatis with the second effort, and nothing can be gotten to go. Now a long pass ahead, chance for Hanover Park, and they get on the ball. So the Vikings will pick it up here with Braylon Moore. Get a guy that no stranger to shooting from beyond the arc, 160 points. As Chickatelli, bounce past Simeon Washington. And Hanover Park with a clear size advantage as well, though they get it down low in Washington. Size advantage as well, though they get it down low in Washington. After a couple of bounces, gets his first one to go. Now a quick jump pass to the outside. I'm really liking the full court press that we're seeing here, although they seem to have found some sort of hole in it. Here's Orji Ekwe, thought about going up, little pass to the Ekwe. And the size could make a difference. Hanover Park out-rebounds the Vikings on a per-game basis of about five, so that could be a big deal as Tatis cuts to the inside, pops it up in the air, and it's pulled right back down by Michael Farrell. Now Washington, what a, what save. a save! Oh my good! Hanover Park team a little bit. In this first quarter brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Drive with confidence, drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown on Richdale Ave. Tatis inside, beautiful. The only free throws of the game have come for Par Hills. And they're three for four. Go with the full court press. Orji Ekwe pops it over to the outside. They're forcing a lot of these long range passes. I was going to say, I think some of the Hanover Park guys need to kind of come up the floor a little bit to help the ball hanging out. Ball hanging out As we get a splash down by Johnny Karpinski as he knocks it from three and helps cut down the deficit. That's a big dagger that they needed here. They were trailing by five, now down only by two. Tatis looking for the screen. And look at that first step accelerate. I call it here for tonight. The director. I can't the lie, they're hard though. No, they are hard. Oh no, that's a that's a compliment all the way. That's a great movie. Karpinski. They remind me of the Patrick colorways of the Kyrie's yes. a couple of years ago. Yes, absolutely. Here's Orji Ekwe, aggressive, off the box and in. Ekwe, aggressive, off the box and in. And Ortera, Orji Ekwe, has got his first two. He's had an assist in today's game as well. Now we're tied up at 11, and already the makings of an intense contest early on. Chicatelli just kind of lobs one up in the air. Rebound pulled down by Moore, and he knocks Blew the size out here in the final 90 seconds of period number one. You got the Reyes brothers' chemistry here in the backcourt. Maybe that sparks something for the uh, it never hurts, right? From the driveway to the hardwood. That's what Here I'm we saying. go again, outside. Beautiful shot! Air out of bounds. And Hanover Park will get possession. And now no shot clock in New Jersey High School basketball. So if they want, they can hold on to it for the full 30 seconds, as long as they get it over the line. Might they get a challenge, it. we'll see. George, double team, Karpinski in, and in again! You know what, George? That's probably the question I should have asked you. Uh, but. I, I think for Hanover Park, it's a lot more of slowing the ball down again. There's no shot clock. All you have to do is get it over the line that you can set up for Par Hills. Again, they've got to just be better down low. As we get a Giordano with no scoring so far today. Hanover Park with four different scores. Same could be said for Par Hills. Chicatelli, Simeon Washington. He he's only got two points today. Trying to get himself on the board a little more. Here's more from the outside. Won't be three. He's pulled right back down Tartis, and he's fine. I don't think so either. I mean. Hanover Ever Park, it almost looks like they want them to go to the inside because they know that they're the bigger team. They've got George, they've got Farrell down low. That's so again, if you take away the three. That's a very smart strategy. If you funnel all your players into George, he's proven this game that he is he's not letting anything go at the rim. So Although, I feel like that's how you can really, really stop this Vikings team. Well, they didn't take the perimeter away that time as Moore is able to knock down his first three of the game. Moore's got five points, pass outside Karpinski. He's got two threes this game. Now all the way to the other end. Here's Reyes, and he gets it down. Ball foul for Tatis. And Tatis is like, what was that about, dude? <laughs> so now Hanover Park will start it with the baseline. 3.50 left to go in the second quarter. Up by three. Face a plenty of three-point shots. Inside, George off the glass. Being that tall, but he certainly found a way to do it. Tatis outside Moore looking for another three. Bounces off. Pulled down now by the 15 of Andrew Herr. Now Chicatelli. Chicatelli inside through the paint. Little push down. Herr. Now Chicatelli. Chicatelli inside through the paint. Little push down. And it's sent away by Simeon Washington, who's finally got four. 
Long pass Karpinski, all alone, Reyes, nice defense. Takes a couple, George pulls down the offensive rebound. Back for Reyes, inside, tries to draw contact, and he gets it to go. Alex Reyes, and one. And 12 point swing from halfway through the last quarter where Par Hills found themselves up by five. Pelusiak. She delivers over to Braylon Moore again for three. He's got it. Andrew Hurd just a little too big in front of him. Now Karpinski back for Reyes. Pump fakes over to his brother Alex. Now completes Karpinski. Joe George really wants it down low. He's the biggest man on the floor right now. They try outside again. Five seconds left in the half. And another one knocked down by Karpinski. He's really having himself a game already in half number one. Here's Washington, feeds outside. No Tatis, as he's already got a handful of fouls. This is lobbed way up in what the air and in. He's already got a handful of fouls. This is lobbed way up in what the air and in. What a shot by Moore. I mean, talk about a talented three-point shooter. Yeah, he's coming alive here in the second corner, and if, if, if you're at the Hornets, you do not want that at all. He's got 13 points this game. Here's Reyes, and he's got 15 in the first half. Over his past couple games, he's definitely been known to kind of get out to a very hot start. And uh, that's what's got this uh, Hornets team on such a roll lately. Like, like I said before, they won seven of their last eight coming into this game on a four game win streak. Yeah, they're really feeling the heat here as here comes Reyes off the ground. Uh, lock down their half court off uh, defense, excuse me. Um, as you can see here, they're being very, very aggressive and got the defensive rebound there. So now they're out on the break and they're a fast team too. They're very athletic, they can, they can defend cool you can say to him like nah we, got, we want to get it right Hanover Park no point so far in the first minute and a half Tatis inside fires away this is going to go for two if it drops does not pulled right back down by the Vikings doing a great job on the offensive boards here's Washington now after the timeout Hanover Park going to pick it up and no full court press unless Simeon Washington walks in a little more here I say if it's no if, if it's not broke don't fix it yeah if it's gonna get you back in the game, I say you, I, I don't see why they're not pressing now that they're down. Giordano, handoff, Karpinski, wide open, three! Team is a receiver. Yeah, he's, he's huge. Also a pretty nasty punter too. He had some really nice long launches as Hanover Park did manage to win a playoff game on the football field this season. Made the playoffs in all three years that I've covered him. Here's Karpinski, a bit of an air ball, but we'll call it a okay. You know, uh, just easy steals that lead to easy points. So keep it simple, stay locked in, and be fundamental about it, and hopefully climb back in this game. Tatis, nice swing, take it away now. Here's Alex Reyes, unimpeded, towards the basket. Allow anything because, at the very least, that stops the, the lead from ballooning out even more. And right now, this team is red hot, and here they come again. Here's Karpinski, over towards the line, fakes the three outside, they look for another three. Like this and they're getting out and they're as good as a team as they are in transition whenever par hills get the ball they need to look to slow it down because it, the nothing but sloppy possessions are coming out of it washington now has eight points this game after knocking down his first two free throws of the contest outside george what a fake george goes inside the vikings he was a key facilitator early on he's got to start getting going as well in this one as washington now four for four from the free throw line just in this half Here's Reyes, inside George. George was pinched. Now Reyes again, up and oh, everything is falling for this kid. Well, they're trying to figure out what, what happened here. I think they're gonna say that was not Karpinski, just based off his body language. More to inbound, Tatis cuts in, and again, just nowhere for him to go with George and Karpinski there. It's more outside. Karpinski there. Or outside, and boy, do they need that. Great defense, better offense. Great find for Braylon Moore. Braylon Moore 16, but only three this quarter. What a block. As George gets blocked, and Moore bookending, but the other way. Oh my goodness. Braylon 64 Moore seconds to come left. Alive here. She hit, hit the three, hit the hard uh, look three point shot. Came back down on the other end, got a great block. So, yeah, trying would. to get his team back in the game. Let's we'll see what happens. That was an unreal look that he was able to get off his hand as Giordano and Orji Ekwe ready to come back in. There's more from the out. 
And as Giordano and Orji Ekwe ready to come back in, there's more from the outside. And again, you can't give him too many looks. He has five threes today. I like that play. He ran the baseline, you know, got um, not quite uh, screens for him, but ran yep. around the uh, end of the court, got a good look at the corner. Now a turnover and a good play by Anthony. He ran the baseline.